frequently get asked about calibrations within the Rotronic monitoring system, so we've made this short video. Uh, so first of all, what is a calibration? So a calibration is the comparison of an instrument and a test, IET, to a traceable reference instrument. So the instrument under test, we do not know exactly how well it's measuring. However, the traceable reference, we know exactly how it's measuring. So GXP applications require to work with regularly calibrated instruments. So here it's a bit tricky. What does regularly mean? So the recalibration frequency uh, is done for GXP applications based upon a risk-based approach. Rotronic AG recommend calibrating the temperature and relative humidity probes every 12 months, application depending, of course. Uh, we do have various uh, calibration possibilities, for example, an ISO 17025 calibration or, or a factory calibration. And the same thing here will follow for GXP applications, the risk-based approach. Um, within RMS, we offer a calibration and a calibration management tool. So the good thing is here it helps with the data integrity. We see all of the data and nobody can delete any of this data. So if we look in the system, so here I am already logged in. I'll go into my PST applications and I have down here, I have a GXP calibration. Um, so as you can see, I have uh, two different uh, probes that are running. If I go into grouping and I set up my device, I can see that I have my device that's under calibration here, and then I have my calibration reference here below. The overview here is of the past uh, 24 hours, so the past day, and, I can, and you can see yesterday already that I was running calibrations within the system. If we check on the layout, we see here the overview of uh, calibration devices for temperature and relative humidity that PST can offer you today. So we have a full range of products. We also have dew point mirrors that can be used as references. So within RMS, we have tools and we have a calibration function. Under the calibration, I see here, for example, my relative humidity points. As you can see yesterday, I carried out a few calibrations down here and the results are all okay. So let's quickly go through. First of all, we see the measuring point ID, we see the name of the calibration point, we see the unit, what are we measuring? And we see the status, it's okay. Down here below then I have my parameter where I define my tolerance. <clears throat> what tolerance do I have on the calibration? So this means what deviation can the instrument under test have from the reference instrument. Um, so what is my reference? My reference is the MPT15234. And that's just on the side here. This is my reference, MPT15234. And the environment, the environment is a hydrogen. So here RMS reads directly the value of the probe, the MPT15232. And the reference value I can either select manually or I can select from a drop down list all of the various points. So here I've already selected calibration reference. And we can see here my current value is 34.88, my reference value is 34.92, the temperature is 23.23, .23, so this is well from my reference device. And I have a difference of 0.05% relative humidity, and the result is okay. This result okay here comes from the tolerance that we've put above here. And then we can see all of these calibrations. So these are input calibrations. So this means that the calibration was done, no adjustment had been carried out. So an adjustment is when we change the values, not just calibration, we change the values. So these are all input calibrations. So pretty simple here, I just have to click on calibrate. So here I have the current value, a reference value, the difference, I have the result, it's okay. And then I can add a comment. So normally uh, when we ca carry out a uh, calibration, we'll follow some kind of procedure. So here, for example, we're following the procedure, SOP 1123, and then we define if it's an input or an output calibration. We click on OK, and the calibration appears here. So this calibration now has been carried out depending on the requirements. Perhaps we'll do one point, perhaps we'll do three points. Uh, for relative humidity, Rotronic recommends doing three points. 
Um, so then afterwards we can simply add a reminder of when is the next calibration due. So I'll click on here and then I can define when it is required. I simply click here on OK and then we have a date that appears. As soon as this date comes, then a new reminder will come up. So if I click here on a reminder, I can see that here there is a calibration reminder in the system. So uh, I need to calibrate this device here, the MPT9454, which is my airlock, which is differential pressure. I would need to calibrate that now. So if we head back now to our calibration, uh, we can also see what happens when there is an error. So if I go onto the temperature side, uh, yesterday, I added a few errors by creating a very, very low tolerance. So here we can see exactly the same overview. Uh, we see here that we've taken a reference to the temperature. We can see a difference of 0 0.07 compared to the current value. And same thing here, I can click on, click on Calibrate. Uh, same thing, we've been using an SOP, so I'll put an SOP in. Up, and we click on OK. What I can do now is I can generate a report. If I click on generate report, it'll ask me what do you want to see, all calibrations or selected calibrations. For example, here I click on all calibrations, I click on OK, and then down below a PDF will open up. I'll check out this PDF and then I can see on this calibration protocol exactly what happened. So it's a document that's saved in the system with a unique ID, we've got a date, we've got the username, we have the measuring point information, and we have the summary here of all of the calibrations that were carried out, and then we have more detail about each and every calibration below with all of the information that was added into the system. So electronic record, electronic signature, we have the whole system set up here, so we know that James Pickering, for example, carried out this calibration certificate, made this calibration certificate on the uh, 24th of the 3rd, 20. 20. So heading back to our RMS now, uh, we've viewed how to carry out a calibration pretty easily. Of course, we'd have to follow a procedure, how long do we wait for before we carry out a calibration, how many measurements do we take, so all of this information needs to be taken into account. If we look under events, or under the audit trail, we already saw the calibration reminder here, but when we click on messages, we can then see once we filter under the event, if we add in calibrate, we can see then all of the calibrations that have been taken out. So this means that if we do have an audit from a third party company, we can present to them all of the details within one single system. So this will make it much, much easier as soon as you do have to show somebody what was calibrated, what are the results, we could then head into our uh, document overview here. And then under the document overview, for example, we have the possibility to add information. So here on this MPT 9449, we can see that we've uploaded a Hyperclip D, uh, C declaration, a data sheet, a firmware file, a manual, uh, a short user manual, the technical design, and as well the calibration report. So we could open, so load this calibration report, and we can see exactly um, how that probe was calibrated. So here, this one has a two-point calibration that was done on it. So the uh, Rotronic Monitoring System, RMS, offers you quite a few possibilities for your calibrations. If you're looking at ISO 17025 calibrations, we have various labs throughout the world. And uh, we have, as we said, the whole range of devices to generate relative humidity values and temperature values. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us via our email address or via the website. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching.